Hey everyone, Eric here. A little bit of a behind the scenes video today. I thought I'd show you a little bit of what's happening in the studio. I'm really making a change in the look of the show and some of the product videos I do. I've done away with the big yellow banner that you used to see back here, the big eight foot by six foot EVH gear discussion banner. Obviously doing a lot of rebranding here on the show and with that you know, comes uh, a whole new look. And so a while back, you saw some of the blackout I was doing here as well too. I did a 16 foot by, I guess 12 foot tall photography backdrop, put some heavy, heavy uh, piping across the top and hung the fabric from there as well. So that blacked out the entire wall. And I think that looks pretty nice. Rearranged some of the gear here as well too. Uh, you're getting rid of the banner. The banner was a real uh, hard thing to manage as well too. I love the banner, but with all the studio lights in here, it was very hard to control the reflection off of that thing. It was very, very shiny. So it was hard to control that. Now with a matte black finish like that, it's a lot easier. So it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be really cool to, you know, kind of more of a atmospheric look to it, a kind of cozy, kind of loungy kind of feel, if, if you will, something like that. Brought in a couch from the other room. Uh, it's just a small couch using that just for, uh, I'll be doing some product demos here. I can actually turn the pedal board around, you know, you know, access my pedals here on the floor. Right now, obviously it's not in a conducive area here to step on them like this but I can turn it around here easily. I'm gonna be having some EVH gear stools coming in. I'll put those over here as well so I can have a couple guests as well too. So myself, another guest, uh, maybe even a couple guests, do some little interviews here as well. So look, looking forward to that. So yeah, it's coming along really, really well. But I really appreciate the people growing with me as the channel grows here. The channel's come a long way in a year, uh, a year and a half, I should say. Uh, you know, a lot of different looks. I've been, as most people know me, I tend to never be satisfied with one particular look. I've been struggling with the look of the show for the longest time. I'm slowly getting there. Quite happy with how it's progressing right now. Just the backdrop and everything like that, I think is, is coming along a little bit more comfortable, cooler. Um, I'm anxious, I mean, down in the comments down below, comment and let me know what you think of how it's looking now uh, with this direction I'm going with. Obviously rebranding, you know, it gives you a chance to, you know, totally experiment with different ideas, looks, feels, you know, lighting, sound, the sound I know greatly is improving. I really have to thank the people at Rode Microphones for making that avenue come to, to life. I mean, the, the sound quality of the show now is coming along tenfold. I'm actually, for the techies that like to know what I'm using right now, I'm using a Rode NTG3 mic, which is just above my head, out of the frame, and I'm running that into my Tascam DR60 Mark II uh, field recorder, and I'm shooting right now with a, a Nikon D7200, and very rarely do I ever use this lens for shooting. Uh, but I'm using a wide angle lens here. I don't, I use it all the time for photography, but for video, I hardly ever use this lens. It's a uh, Tokina 11 to 16 millimeter. So that's just for the techies that like this stuff. Uh, so I've got a nice wide angle lens on this. I'm probably at around 12 millimeters right now on the camera. So it lets me get a little bit of a wider shot. You can see my Rode microphone over there as well too. That's a Rode NT1 that really delivers a beautiful, beautiful uh, sound on the guitar, which is running to my mixer. I'm not playing guitar today, but um, you'll hear that on the talk show when I do some live broadcasts and things like that as well, too. Uh, beautiful, beautiful system. Going to be doing some more Rode unboxings here soon, too. There's more products coming in uh, from Rode, so looking forward to that. But just want a big thanks to a lot of people that really matter to me. Um, number one, I'm just going to say a thank you to a couple of people that really inspire me. And if I've forgotten anyone, I apologize. But just a, people, a few people off the top of my head uh, that continue to inspire me on YouTube uh, to, to push further and push for greatness on the channel. One being Jay Parmer. I talk about him a lot in the show. He has a great, great YouTube channel. I'll put his link down in the description down below. So grab that link. A uh, very inspirational person, whether not just in music itself, but just in life. Great dude. Uh, Robert Baker, a phenomenal guy. He helped me as well. He contributed to the uh, top three eruption covers on Planet Earth video. I'll put the link to that video down below as well too. So link will be in the description down below, as well as the link to his channel. He just hit 100,000 and he's skyrocketing. He's building a new studio right now as well for his videos. Uh, he was teasing me with some more videos today uh, through Facebook and we were talking back and forth, showing me uh, kind of the behind the scenes of his new studio, which is very, very cool as well. So another great dude, uh, Henning Pauly, uh, HP42, whatever, uh, put his link down below. A great inspiration uh, to continue doing uh, what I do. Uh, I look at him a lot for inspiration. So all these different sources of inspiration are really, really cool. I gotta thank my Poison Ivy Gross here. She's probably the biggest catalyst of it all. Uh, she really inspires me to do what I do here in the channel. But let's just jump over to some people that also need to be thanked that are uh, huge in uh, supporting me, uh, making the show what it is today, and just, be, uh, you know, friends, if for that matter. We'll start right off the get-go on this. And no 
no particular order, and I just I hope I don't miss anyone. Uh, and I don't think I will because I talk with these people almost every day. Speaking of which, I talked with this fellow today, uh, Adam Reaver from fu-tone.com. I've been with Adam now as a friend and and everything since like the uh, the year 2000. So I was going on 17, almost 18 years. I've uh, been friends with him. So thanks a lot, Adam Reaver. Uh, Jody Page at Pedal Snake, uh, a huge, huge thank you. I've been you know, with, affiliated with him since probably the same amount of time as well, too, since 2000, right on the button. Um, Mark at Strymon, um, Rick and Joanna at IdeaBench, ideabench.com, providing the Fastback GT pedal board here, phenomenal. And uh, Rode Microphones, I can't thank Rode Microphones enough. Rode has really uh, upped the game here for me. It's made, it's made the sound dramatically better clear crisp i love it and uh van halen store.com jeff at van halen store.com van halen news desk has been a huge backer of this show and a huge supporter uh jeff come on board as a sponsor when i only had 300 subscribers on the channel absolutely amazing 300 subscribers now i'm here at 3,000 and climbing uh and still with me i love it you know speaking of which so you like the shirt link for the shirt is in the description below and it's kind of funny too if you look at that video i was talking about earlier the uh the top three eruption covers on planet earth but i'm sure the comments are just waiting to come in where they say uh, oh your shirt changes in that video are ridiculous that was actually supposed to be ridiculous i did it for fun it was it was a serious video i was doing it was my tribute to eddie van halen and having some of my friends around the world uh contribute to this uh to that video but i thought let's have some fun and i changed my shirts in the video i think somewhere around eight or nine times and i actually put timestamps in the video with links uh, to the exact shirt I was wearing and where to purchase them at Van Halen store. And I told Jeff about it. I said, I got a really cool idea. I'm going to do this. And he thought it was pretty neat as well, too. So I, it, it was ridiculous. It was fun. It was just a fun little humor thing. It was a way to make a very serious video, a documentary, mini documentary, kind of fun. You know what I mean? Take take some of the seriousness away from it. Put a little sprinkle of fun in there. So just having a lot of fun with the channel, more so than ever. Uh, getting good comments from people in the chat on a weekly basis. I find that the, the people that come in the chat, they become friends and family. Very very quickly and they really watch out for one another so if you know if you get any trolls that come through it's very few and far between but trolls do exist and they come in friends and fans in the chat tend to eat them for breakfast so they don't really stand the chance and i really i really like the fact that we have that camaraderie with everyone in the chat i'm looking forward to it in the very near future making this look that you see here i'm going to be you know presenting the show from the couch here a little bit um you know have some guitars surrounding me and stuff like that uh, right now it's i can't do that without my producer i'm working on getting the producer spot uh, taken care of that way you know they can run the computer run you know the i'll maybe have a laptop or an ipad over here for the live chat um, but i can be away from the microphone be over here a little bit more comfortable as opposed to sitting in the chair for 90 minutes so have some patience with me as i go through this little uh change of look and i hope you like it once again banner's gone going all black a little bit more simple a little bit easier to control the lighting the sound is a little bit more easy to manage and uh, I'm, I'm feeling it. I think it's it's pretty cool. Some of you that are my friends on Facebook uh, and others that aren't friends of, me, of mine on Facebook but follow the uh, the Facebook page, facebook.com slash TV. I've put a couple pictures up showing some uh, photographs I took the other night kind of teasing this new look. And I've had some really good feedback coming in. So thank you for uh, sharing your comments and, and praise on that. It means a lot to me. The numbers are going up on Facebook. The numbers are going up on YouTube. So there's some steady growth. And I've only got one thing to thank for that. That's that's you guys for watching and supporting the show. So uh, really nothing else really to say to you other than a huge, huge thank you to everyone for making this channel what it is. I'm glad to see that people are hanging in through my transition here as I rebrand now even VH Gear TV. Um, it means a lot to me that people are st not only sticking with me, they're also the numbers are increasing and the, the database is growing and I love that. It just means I get to talk to more people each week and share with you some of the finds I find in EVH gear and the guitar stuff and pedals and effects and just all kinds of goodness. You're going to expect to see more uh, updates from the road uh, as well. I'm doing a lot more stuff uh, from the Camaro on the highway and instead of just talking about you know what's coming up on Friday and from the car there might be some of that but I'm actually gonna do some real show content while I'm on the road I have you know when I'm going to see clients and things like that I'm right in the car I might as well make use of the time I use some of my new gear uh, that I've got and um, I'll do some real show content it just will so happen that I'll be in a car on the highway as I'm doing it but as as you know and come to expect from me 
there will not be any shortcuts. I would say the sound quality is going to be good, video quality is going to be good. Um, it's going to be the typical content that you look expect from EVH Gear TV. Can't thank you guys enough, uh, guys and girls, for watching the show, and uh, look forward to seeing you real soon. Drop me a comment down below how you like the new look, how it's coming along, and uh, I really appreciate all your support. You guys rock. Until next time, cheers. Mm -hmm.